Sir, I'm still curious. I'm trying to make that connection. You're a sports enthusiast. Your your grandfather was in the pomade business, but how did you get into a business for women? I mean, beauty products of all things. Uh, well, I started in nail polish at that okay. time, starting up, because that's the most popular items. And then I have to expand the business, so I went okay. to lipstick, uh, eyeshadow. But why why women? I mean, I mean, you could have. I mean, you're. Uh, <laughs> People thought I was a bakla, okay. a, a gay guy doing the ladies' business, but okay. I'm, I'm macho. <laughs> so, so people ask me, how did you get to know what the ladies want, and okay. this and that? I said, madali lang eh. I, I was young, okay. in my early 20s, so marami tayo din date na girls. <laughs> okay. So when I date, kala nila anong tatanong, at tinatanong, ano ba favorite kulay mo ng eyeshadow, mga lipstick, and they were curious, but puro ganun ng Tanong mo. Okay. Eh, sabi ko, actually, my You're business, doing market research. I'm <laughs> doing market research. So, that's how I started. And the other way of looking at it is, uh, at that time, sa TV lang tayo. Hindi mo katulad right. A lot of social media. Right. So, I look at, like, Vilma Santos, Alma Moreno, and, and I look at their color, their eyeshadow, lipstick, and my blush on. Then, I will counter check with the girls that we are, I'm dating. And they will say, oh, dyan namin kinokopy ang mga kulay. <laughs> so that, that proves that tama ang aking, ano, ang aking intuition. So when I go to my trip, at that time, all my products are from Taiwan because wala pang China. Eh. Okay. So I got all the color chart. Right. So that's where I, and then I bring it home. And I show it to the girls. Ano, ito ba? Maganda bang kulay? Itong match? Maganda ba? So, Sounds they, like that was your style to pick yeah. up girls. <laughs> uh, sort of. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It's fun. It's a win-win situation. Okay. So I get the get free consultation. I just invite them for dinner. So, so. You, you give true meaning to following your passions. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Passion for everything. <laughs> now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there, there are so many changes. In Ever Belena, yeah. uh, you survived the pandemic, yeah. uh, but your 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 daughter is also playing a, a large part in the business now. Huh? Yeah, I'm lucky to to uh, convince her to come back. Okay, uh, she graduated in Berkeley in 2014. Okay, in the U.S. Yeah. Then uh, before two months, I remember two months before her graduation, she said that I got two offers. Okay, one fifty thousand dollar on the average. So yeah. okay, lang. Yeah. Then. A week or two before graduation, said that I got four offers na in the seventy-five thousand area na. Habi ko, wow, this is dangerous because okay. in my mind, if she starts working there, she she'll, won't come. She will stay there. Yeah. So I have to fly there again and talk to her and okay. convince her. I said, uh, I remember I told her, okay, you think today is good, short term, seventy-five thousand. Okay. Yeah. But after ten years, you will still be an employee. Okay. Maybe after 15, 20 years, you go up to maybe 120, 150,000. But in Manila, you run the business, I train you okay. for the succession. Okay. And 10 years, 15 years after, you own the business. Right. So you're not making boss. Ko eh. Right. And it's already now. I called her my boss already. <laughs> now, my dad says something similar. He yeah. says he's retired. He says he's the Daya Rancho, but he calls me every morning. and Yeah. Ask me about the headline. Yeah. Or bakit ito pala ang benta niyo? <laughs> Are you the same way? More or less is the same. So okay. I just pay for all her shipments, uh, okay. all her orders. Then, but before the end of the month, oh, kamusta ang collection mo? So it's same. It's very <laughs> same similar. Thing, similar. But because you have to give me more money because I have to pay your shipment. <laughs> so it's ex very similar. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, that 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 means you probably have more time for something else. Are you relaxing or are you, are you into other business uh, ventures? Well, uh, if I will stay with Ever Belena, I'll be so bored today. Because okay. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, 89, because your daughter, daughter is yeah, running the show. Yeah, she's the one running. I don't yeah. know how to order anymore. Yeah. I don't have any idea on the social media because tayo old school. Eh. I thought you were going to say you don't know how to date anymore. No more. No, okay. no. <laughs> Actually, ito pa. When she was coming back, I said, you have to take over because I cannot date that 20 plus year old girls <laughs> okay. anymore because I'm going 60 or 50 plus. Okay. So that you're really dirty old man. So, <laughs> okay. so, so okay, I'll do that for you. Okay. So that's the funny side. And the good thing now that Denise is involved, I, I, ang sa atin naman, TV, okay. newspaper, right. magazine. 
Right. Radio. Right. That's what we are brought up to. So okay. we don't know Instagram, social uh, media. Social media. Yeah. We don't know that. Eh. So that's yeah. why when I saw the... When 2014 she came home, it's still the same. And she was so mad. Dad, you don't have the social media. Because at yeah. the time, we're still using the Nokia. Yeah. And it was 2016, I saw the influx of the the smartphones. Mm -hmm. So I said, this is the time. Okay. So she took over. I said, you do what you want. I just, you just sign it and I just yeah. pay whatever you recommend. Yeah. How old is she now? Nana? She's now 30 years old. Oh, still very young. It's still very young. Yeah. And, and you, you're into other businesses now. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about that? Mm -hmm. So I initially, uh, six years I expanded to properties. Okay. Uh, I, uh, parang nag collaboration with uh, Ayala. Okay. And then, of course, Ayala owns BPI, so they also help fund all our projects. I see. So we're still do final. We are finishing our first building, hopefully end of the year. Is that the one in the FTI or former yeah, FTI? Arcasol. It's Arcasol, Arcasol, yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, the former FTI. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm busy with now, I, I invested uh, a year and a half ago during the COVID lockdown. A co company called Bcnet. It's a integrate. Uh, it's a broadband broadband internet company using satellite. Mm. So, sakto naman with our president's dream of digitalizing the whole country. Right. So we're helping uh, because in Indonesia there's 13,000 islands. Okay. And they have 10 satellites. Okay. We have 7,000 islands, but we don't have satellite. Right. So that's one of the things that I want the government to look at it. Now, maybe it's about time that we country invest on a satellite yeah. to service this uh, unserved and underserved islands. Sure. Because in Indonesia, they have one satellite just to cater all the ATM machines. I see. So that's why the whole Indonesia is digitalized and economy is booming because right. countryside, they have the circulation money and circulation of the of the monies go around. Like we have GCAS now, but if there's oh, no internet, walang GCAS din. Right. Know? So tell us about the market share of BusyNet. I mean, how, how are you how are you now? What are your expansion plans? Uh, we have a lot of uh, plans and projects for uh, BusyNet. Uh, right now, we're the biggest uh, contributor to the to the ICT okay. for the wireless uh, technology. Okay. Uh, and then with uh, some uh, projects with DICT and also our armed forces, we're trying to help them do their uh, satellite feeding on uh, their communication. So these are ongoing uh, discussion with the government. Uh, we hope that the budget will come out soon. Uh, it's already almost done deal, but we are waiting for the government to have their project uh, budgets, I mean, so that they can start uh, doing the bidding processes. So is this a, a business to government or B2G or B2B? Or are you also looking at commercializing it to right now, like ordinary uh, households? Now? It's more of being a supplier to the government. Okay. So, so B2G. it goes to bidding. So yeah, yeah. we're just waiting for the government to announce a bidding. Right. And it's, uh, it's, uh, no, it's equal naman for everyone. Right. Yeah. And, and then how, how is this going to be different from like the Starlink that we've been hearing about? Uh, or is that different business altogether? Because that seems to be catering to yeah. individual households. Starlink is more on the low orbit. Well, why, why, what we are using now is the high orbit. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Starlink is more on the private sector. Okay. The houses and uh, uh, I could say business institutions. Okay. So it's a, a bit different from what we are doing. Right. But they're not competitors? No. It's, it can be supplementing. Actually. Right. Right. There, there can be synergy between right. between our existence and the right. Starlink. So w w what is the main offering of BusyNet? Is it is it security? Is it speed? Or is it all of those things? Or is it something else? Well, right now, because we are buying our sa satellite link from other countries. Right. So our our uh, feed is quite limited because there is it's already a shortage of satellite feed okay that's why it's about time that the uh, government should look at investing on having our own satellite okay to help all the our countryside develop the businesses also right and and the, the real estate business uh, can you talk about that that sounds exciting uh, are, are are you looking at uh, commercial development residential development or both uh, it's a uh, 
uh, more on the uh, office uh, okay, rental, commercial, yeah. commercial leasing. Uh, the market is a bit soft today, okay. as you can see, because of this uh, global inflation, high interest rate. And uh, I strongly believe on the second half of the year, once inflation drops, okay. I believe the interest rates will drop as well. Once okay. you see the interest rate dropping, we can see people start uh, investing again. Okay. So right now with the high uh, interest rate, people will rather keep their money in the bank rather okay. than investing. So for you in the meantime, what's the strategy? Is it to just uh, continue developing until the market recovers uh, or are you, are you doing something else? We are continue developing and looking at uh, other opportunities. And uh, there's one I'm looking at now is for the agri, agri farming. Oh, nice. Okay. Because uh, I think by next month or next month, I'll be flying to uh, Vietnam to look at their uh, shrimp and aqua farming. Okay. So there's a company we're talking to now. They're, they want to make uh, aqua farming like raising poultry. Okay. So it's a mass scale uh, uh, aquaculture that will bring down the cost of uh, farming, uh, aqua farming in uh, fish, in uh, crabs, shrimps, and all other seafood that they can uh, do on the shoreline. Mm. So I, I love that idea because we want to help bring down inflation right. and eventually export also. Yeah. Because we got 7,000 islands, we got all the waters in our, uh, in, our, in our country. No, that's very interesting yeah. because, you know, I think that's one of the thrusts of the government is to convince people like you yeah. to also go into agriculture yeah, and correct. food production uh, but are you are you looking at um, you know the, the the high tech type of setup you know um, because I, I've seen some some people set up you know aquaculture yeah. operations inside buildings or maybe do some uh, hydroponics along on with it or are you just purely uh, exploratory at this point uh, um, I, we're exploring at the moment I think this one is not really high tech because you should be at the shoreline okay. using the seawater okay. instead of inland uh, okay. fresh water. So I see. Because with the seawater, the water replenishes on its own. Right. High tide, low tide, it right. comes in, comes out. Right. Right. So that's what I'm looking at. And uh, I want to see how they are doing there. And uh, plus also their inputs. When I say inputs, is the, the feeds yeah. that uh, the, these Vietnamese companies are doing. So I want to do the the aqua aquaculture plus the feed how do they do it to make it lower yeah so that i'm in one with our uh, president in bringing down inflation yeah once we bring down inflation our business will flourish right, right so right now because we have no excess cash for our masa yeah so people are having hard time i want because it's like my giving back then yeah i'm not that young anymore so i want sort of a. Uh, <laughs> Doing something for the next generation, yeah. But why Vietnam? I mean, what, what caught your eye there? I mean, uh, I think Thailand also does a lot of aquaculture. I mean, well, so does Indonesia. But uh, what 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 caught your eye there? Uh, something must have. Was well, that company was introduced to me by a Japanese uh, investment company? I see. And unang approach lang nagulat nako. Sabi niya, Vietnam has the longest shoreline. Okay. 2,200 ah, right. kilometers. Slender but long. Yeah, shoreline. long. Yeah. And then, it's not an island, it's a land. Okay. So, doon lang, na-curious na ako eh. So, so, we do researching and we do some small investment with those companies there and see how they do. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah. So, that's how I get more ex excited with them. That's why, and then they're inviting us to visit them in the next few months. So, we'll be flying there. So, let, I want to have a look. Birds, I look what they are doing there. Right. So is that is that how you look at opportunities? Maybe you you try it out first, you invest a little yes, bit, yes. study it. Is that something you learned from Henry C or John Gokongway, or is that purely Giselle the Sea already? Actually, now? it's a mix of all. Eh. Okay. So, I, ang ang training ko, I don't go in big. I go yeah. in small. Yeah. Feel it. Parang you go in the restaurant, tikman tikim konte. Yeah. If it's good, then you order more. Right. You don't go in and have a big meal and then ma di masarap. Right. So right. you tikim tikim only try and, try and error and see how it works. And so far, my small investment there is doing okay, na man. So and then they got an invite from there. So okay, we'll go and take a look. Sounds exciting. So we'll be uh, taking another quick break. This is uh, SMNI Business and Politics. We're talking to Mr. Giselle Desi.